Well, second time I'm recording this video, since the first time I forgot to turn on my microphone. Well, Microsoft released a new UI for Microsoft Edge on Android and as well the new icon. Well, I kind of wish that uh, this white background could be not there, but uh, well, it's there, it's just an icon, not a big deal. The most important changes are here in the UI and there are a lot of new changes. The first change here is the search bar, which is now is like the Google search bar because previously it was more or less like a square like this from the top it was in the middle so now it's more like an android design what's also changed is the hamburger menu which is not there anymore or i think it was here at the bottom and it was opening like a menu uh, right now it's here in the middle it's just like from iphones which uh, when you swipe from bottom to the top uh, you get that uh, fast icons fast toggles this is kind of the same. Uh, here at the top you have favorites, history, download, shopping, settings. Uh, here this shopping, it's um, automatically from Microsoft because if I press on it shopping, it takes me to Bing. And actually, I don't even know how to remove it because all these changes here, you can change them the way you want. Here at the bottom, change menu, and then you can rearrange them as you want. You have to press and hold a little bit and then you arrange them as you want. Here at the top I already choose my top icons that I'm gonna use because when you press on the menu you only see the first row of icons or toggles and then you see the others. So these five are the most important, at least for me. Here we have exit browser which this exit which this exit button it will actually completely close Microsoft Edge because if I try to see recently used apps, well, it's completely closed. Uh, I use it from time to time, but all these options, they, are, they aren't they are new, but they are in a different way. Um, for example, now if I want to ho go home, I just press here and it goes to home. It doesn't open a new tab, it stays in the same tab. Or right now you see I'm in the home page and if I press here, then these toggles are disabled because I'm in the home page. So I'll have to go well, new tab as well, it's it's free. So I'll have to go again to a website and then I can add to favorites or go to desktop mode. Um, let's actually add to favorites because here you see there was at the bottom a menu which uh, I can edit to where I want it to be saved because you see here I have a, little fo a few folders and these folders are from Microsoft Edge from my PC. Um, mobile favorites, favorite bar from PC and other favorites. But one thing that it's it's annoying me, actually let's add it, add to favorites, favorite bar and save. And now if we're gonna go to favorites, favorite bar and then it should be here at the bottom being shopping. And if I want, I can delete it. But one thing that it's uh, kinda annoying me is you see here I have all my favorites from favorite bar other favorites and then mobile favorites. These mobile favorites, I can't delete them. Actually, none of them I can delete them. And even on PC, I think I can't delete these folders. But this mobile folder, well, I wish I could delete it because uh, I don't really want to have different folders for my phone and for my PC. Well, sometimes maybe it makes sense, but uh, if I would want such thing, then I'm gonna come here at the top and I'm gonna create a new folder. And then you have the usual stuff, which is your downloads, history, reading mode, and then your favorites. Your account is here at the top, and if you press on it, then you have your uh, sign out, sync settings, and then sync to, you see here the new Microsoft Edge, or the old Microsoft Edge Legacy. One problem that I found with this, if I choose Microsoft Edge Legacy, then uh, I'm not getting any favorites synchronized from my old Microsoft Edge, but when I choose the new Microsoft Edge, then uh, it synchronizes my bookmarks. Also, you see here at the top, uh, the new search bar or the URL bar, it's also rounded, which I think it's, uh, it's a different way and I really like this new design, but well, uh, people use these days whatever they want. And also not to forget that I'm using a better version but I think Microsoft has released this uh, new UI to normal users. If you still have the old version, then uh, just go into the store and download the new version or just apply to beta user 
and you're gonna get always the new updates. I kind of dig this new menu, uh, it's really intuitive and works. Well, I didn't show you, but here when you go into the tabs, it's also a bit different, but well, uh, it's more or less just like on the old one. If you go into Google, what's the share button? The share button, well, it opens the default uh, share options from your phone. So this was more or less, guys. If I did forgot something, then uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. But yeah, this was it. Thank you guys for watching. Till the next one.